Hello and welcome to this session. Today, let's talk about seven public speaking tips for beginners. If you are watching this video, maybe you are a beginner or you just want to better your public speaking skills. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa. I'm a public speaking coach and I help people like you to speak in public. The first tip is to practice. Practice is key if you want to become a better speaker. There are a lot of ways to practice your public speaking. Number one is you can use the mirror to practice. Number two, you can record yourself, replay it, watch yourself. Number three is invite your family or friends together and practice in front of them. Number four is you can use online platforms like Zoom, Facebook Live, Instagram Live, TikTok Live. If you don't want to show your face too, you can still use these online platforms like Twitter Spaces, Clubhouse to practice your presentations. So the next time you want to practice, look around, use any of these methods and you are good to go. The second public speaking tip for beginners is the power of storytelling. There are a lot of people who have been speaking for the past 10 or 20 years, but they don't have any impact story in their speaking journey. Why? Because they don't use good stories. They don't tell good stories or they don't know how their audience can tell them those stories to inspire them, to energize them, and to give them that lasting memory. So if you are a speaker, there are two ways to tell stories. The first way is you can use your personal stories. So I can share my personal stories about my struggles, tough times, hard times, success stories, my experience in life, and I can share that to my audience. The second way to tell stories is to use other people's stories. Where you talk about how maybe Mark Zuckerberg started his journey, if you're in Ghana, how Kwame Despite, Ali Kodangote, you can use their stories or the stories of products like this. I can pick the story of this share butter and tell it to my audience. So it could be a company, association, whatever you want to tell, a story that you want to tell that is not your story, you are using other people's stories. But the baseline of storytelling is, number one, practice those stories before you go on stage. If you don't practice those stories, you will go up and you mess up. So practice is key if you want to speak and tell good stories. Before we move to the third public speaking tip, if you want coaching, I'm available to coach your team. I'm available to coach you individually. No, I don't do individual coaching that, that much. Maybe you can get my course, which is in the description below as to how you can become a better speaker. But let's move on to the third public speaking tip which is body language. How are you carrying your body on stage? How are you moving around? That smile of yours, are you showing it to the audience? The way you walk on stage, the way you throw your hands around, all of this is very important when you are speaking in public. There are some people who just throw their hands because they want to show gestures. No, you must coordinate the way you move your hands and the way you use your hands to express certain topics or certain sentences. If I want to say power, I need to say power. If I say power and my body is not showing that power, there's no essence of that. If I want to say two and I say two, this is one, this is not two. So if I want to express love and I say let's love each other and I'm doing this, no. I may be saying one thing and showing different thing. So it just comes to let you appreciate how important your body language is in public speaking. Number four is use pauses. I've just incorporated a pause. So the more you pause, the more you get the opportunity to speak, to think about what to say next. There are some people once they keep on speaking, you hear filler words. I also use filler words sometimes. But then, if you learn to pause, you will avoid most of the filler words. 
for example mm, and 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 it's a filler word because your mind is trying to connect to the next word but if you use pauses you'll see that you can think about what you're going to say next and it will help you to actually know what to say if you miss your lines i'm going to give you two examples one i'm going to use pauses the first one i'm going to use i'm not going to use pauses but the second one i'm going to use pauses so let's go this is the first presentation my name is ibrahim mustafa i'm a public speaking coach i believe in you i believe in the power of your dreams i know that it's possible let's make it possible let's make it no pauses so no structure Listen to the second presentation, which has some bit of pauses. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa. I believe in you. And I know your dream is possible. You have the power to change the world and to make a difference. So go out there and make that difference. So you can see the differences between the two presentations. One, yes, I was fast, just saying whatever comes to my mind, and I can easily miss out some words. But the second one, I'm just communicating to my audience to let them understand whatever I'm saying. And that's the power of pauses. And the fifth public speaking tip, which is know your audience. Before you speak, do some basic audience analysis. Whether it is impromptu or you are invited to speak, you need to know who your audience are. Believe you me, it will help you to prepare well. It will help you to create that rapport and that opportunity that you want to create for your audience. For example, if you are going to speak to senior high students or college students, it may be the same topic about leadership, but your delivery will differ from you presenting in front of corporate organizations or CEOs. So you see why you need to know your audience? So you know your audience will help you. So one, ask the organizers who are inviting you about who the audience are. Go onto social media to find out about them and just do your audience analysis before you step up on stage. If you are enjoying this, why don't you follow me? Why don't you like this? Why don't you send me a comment? Share your tip, public speaking tip with me, and let's get interactive. If you also want me to do a public speaking video for you specifically, I'm going to do that because I'm here because of you. I'm here to support you to speak in public. So that Steve public speaking tip for beginners is to learn to engage your audience. If you are not engaging your audience, you are not communicating. So you need to learn to engage your audience when, whilst you are on stage. There are a lot of techniques. Number one way is to ask questions. Two, get your audience involved. Three, your body language can help you engage your audience and many more. The seventh and final tip for beginners, which is use visual aids. If you cannot memorize a script, don't force yourself. You can use visual aids like PowerPoint slides. You can use a vi video to inspire your audience or to communicate to your audience. You can equally use an image. Whatever fits you, do it. But if you are doing a one hour presentation without showing your audience something tangible, if it's a training, it's okay, you can move around but it helps if you have a visual aid. Maybe in the middle you do two minutes video or even five minutes video, get your audience interactive, use an image, give them something to talk about and many more. My name once again is Ibrahim Mustafa and I'm giving you this masterclass for free. Why don't you follow me and let's do more. If you have questions, put them in the description below. And also, if you have a favorite speaker, who is your favorite speaker? Put the person's name in the description below and just say thank you for doing that. Follow me and let's do more. I believe in you and I believe in the power of your dreams. Let's do more.